Okay, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, when I made my uh, my program, when to uh, or my routine in order to how to get uh, the Daz textures in, I was trying to. Um, oops, some people are doing things here. I'm getting an email here. Anyway, people were trying to say, "What do we do about this? Is does the any method still works? And and it and it does still work. Here's the uh, here's the using the any for loading all body textures. This shows you in the manual in uh, in. Uh, Real illusion, and it does work this way. This is fine. You have to be aware of two things. First of all, it takes a lot longer for it to using this method. It on my 4090 machine, it took five to ten minutes to load in textures, or only took a minute or two. Uh, so it's it's a long process, but still, you know, it's it's the way to go. Uh, however, the other problem that I always hated this because you always had to find out all these textures, all these, you know, the, there's a lot of textures sometimes. And um, so you have to create this any file. So basically they have a little routine. Basically what happens is you go into uh, Daz. These are the instructions on how to do it. First you have to locate the textures, as I showed you in other videos before, and then you have to uh, import it with baked textures. You go to Transformer and you go to generate the profile and that will generate an any file that then you have to go ahead and edit and you have to put in all, <laughs> all the different maps and things after you found it. Anyway, it's just, to me, it's a pain in the ass. So I wrote a Python routine that does the whole thing. The nice thing about this Python routine is you don't even have to have um, Pillow installed for some of you who didn't like having to install Pillow. So if you didn't want to install Pillow, you can use this routine. So basically... All you have to do with this routine is just make sure you, just like in my other routines, remember when we had the textures where you could uh, get the textures for the clothing or the props or the sets using my other Python routine? Uh, what you have to do is save the duff file, or, or at least know where it's located. But it's easier just to save it. So, for example, after you're done with the character, you just go up here, File, Save As, and save it as a scene, and just save it somewhere as a duff file. And the reason you do that is... By pointing to that duff file, it'll create all the, the necessary things you need to get. So you go to script, load script, and I'll post a link to my script and then below this. I'm on the version 1.5. I may get newer versions. What this is going to do is, and I'm also going to take out some of this uh, text. works very quickly. It gets all this. So it's going to create this DAS IDI file for you. So this would be uh, the file that, that has all the information. Normally that file that you create from them makes you fill in all the blanks. Well, this will fill in all the blanks. It'll fill in all the textures that are available here. Quick and easy, so that's great. It'll also put this file, where it puts it is in your uh, directory that you specified in my other script. Remember, <laughs> those of you using my other script, go back and take a look at my other script. It shows you that you can specify the directory in your DAS config file. So you can specify where you want this directory put, and then in this same directory where this is going to put the DAS any file, it's also going to put a folder called DAS maps. And this has all the maps for that particular character. And it will erase them each time, so they won't build up on you. So you'll have uh, the maps and the DAS any file, and then you'll just need to know where you put that config file. I can give you more complete instructions for those of you that don't want to look at my other videos. I'm, I'm, a lot of you have been using these programs anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. But then, then all you have to do is go to Transformer and CC3, and then you pick that, that FBX file. And um, Oh, I didn't show you how to use my routine, did I? Well, let, me, let me go through that. So you go in, so you go in the script. Oh, we, I guess we did do that. We did do that. I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this done and already eat. Uh, so load Python, you load my script, you run it, you point it towards the, the duff file, and then you go to uh, Transformer, CC3, and you're going to pick your, your FBX file that you exported there, and then you go to Advanced, always make sure you choose Advanced there, and then when it comes up, <clears throat> you're going to choose Bake the Body Textures at whatever resolution you want, you know, I always use 2K, but whatever, and then for the texture profile, you're going to go to where you stored or where you created that DAS any file, so that'll put that there, and the same thing for the maps, it'll be in the DAS maps that'll be created in the same directory that's in your config. And then that's all you have to do. And um, you just go OK, and it's going to import all those textures. And like I say, it will, it will take a very long time, uh, so long that I'm not even going to bother uh, uh, sticking around while it does this and s subject you to all this. But it takes a while, gets them in, finds all the textures. I'm going to keep working on improving it, but hopefully this will help you guys. And uh, I will see you all on the forums.